In this video, I'm going to show you how to do one wire, a single wire door locks, they're also called. These are pretty common on Dodge, Chrysler, Ford, and some GM vehicles. Um, I don't know why they make it this way, but just to keep things complicated for you, I guess. Anyway, I have here the actual relays, pre-wired relay sockets that I'm actually going to use for this video because it's cheap and most people do it this way. But I'm also going to show you that some other parts that we sell, we sell them on the site, which is like this Omega DOR unit. It's pre-wired. It also has a potentiometer in it, so you can adjust the resistance value right in there, which is pretty cool. Saves time. It's nice and neat. I like these, but we're not using that today. This here is also a dual relay socket, but unfortunately the colors don't correspond to my, my cheat sheet that I have over here, so I'm not going to use this because that'll only confuse you. Over here, this is super popular. We sell these things like crazy. This is a, uh, a DEI brand 451M. It's basically two miniature relays built into one little unit, which you can see is really small. It's almost like... It's close, but you know, it's, it's significantly smaller than using these guys. It has a schematic right on the back. It has a pre-wired a pre plug for a DEI. Or you can plug it into Python, Ballet, Sidewinder, Hornet, etc. and so on. Plug it right in, wire it up, and it also comes with all the resistor values that you could use for door locks. Um, if there's not the right value that you need, you could also wire them up in series, parallel, etc. to get the, the uh, resistance value that you're looking for. And he also can be used for VAT systems, a pass lock, so it does a lot. This, this is a nice piece. A lot of people buy them. I think that they're pretty neat myself. But anyway, we're going to do it on the budget. This here is two standard single pole double throw relays. They have five pins on the bottom, like most. Just to show you, that's what they look like. These here are just Omega five wire sockets. Now, in some cars, the one-wire system is a negative type, and there's also some that are positive type. Um, I'm going to show you the negative, and then after I'm done, I'm going to show you quickly how to also apply the same job just using positive locks. So I'm going to lay this out. Again, I'm not going to tell you about the pin numbers because it's not necessary. You can go right by here. You can pause the video, rewind, and see exactly what I'm doing just by following this along. So, pin 85 that's going to be the negative input. I don't care what anybody tells you. The right way to wire relays always apply ground onto this pin. The opposite side of the coil, we're going to apply the opposing polarity, which is going to be positive 12 volts. Of course, to click the coil in the relay to make the action happen. So, even though in the car, for instance, I'm going to make pretend that this is like a GM Impala, for instance, or a Dodge Chrysler or Sebring, they, they're, they're famous for having these things. Um, they use a negative type of system in a one-wire door locks. Now, even though it only requires the resistor on the unlock wire in the vehicle, I always suggest using two relays instead of using a diode on the lock and then just beefing up and using a relay and a resistor on the unlock. The reason being is because once you use a relay, it's automatically going to act as an isolator and it's going to give you a stronger signal on both lock and unlock in one shot. And it's guaranteed. When you're done, you're done. You know, you don't have to go back to the car and say, oh, it's not working. i got to fix it because it's done right the first time. Doing it right the first time is definitely not overrated. So, put those aside. The two blacks, we're going to put the 12 volts. And these two wires here. I get from a power supply which I have run across the room, but in your car of course you have plenty of these all over the place. So, we'll apply 12 volts to those two blacks. That's that. The two greens, this is going to be the power that's going to come out of the relay, so this is the input, input side if you want to call it that. I'm going to put ground on them because we're doing a negative one wire door locking system again. Put ground onto those. The two middle pins you do not use. So we'll just tuck those away nice and neat and get them out of the way for you. And these two are going to be your output wires. So for instance, let's just say that this left relay is your lock and this relay here is your unlock. And you know that you need a resistance value on the unlock wire. I'm going to put that there. This one's going to get a little bit more treatment than this one. 
this one is pretty standard. You're just going to apply the negative output from your alarm, from the lock wire, put it here, and then you're going to get negative out of here, as, as I'll show you here. Put the test light on that guy. This one I'm going to put to ground, and you're going to see that that's going to let it green. Just throw in a strong ground output on the lock. So once you wire that one that way, that's done. I've said about that one. This guy is the one that needs the resistor. So you're just going to take your resistor value. For instance, whatever the value you need, you're going to measure it with your multimeter, of course. Once you get the right value, twist it on your output side. Take your ground input here. This wire is going to, you see that the light is much more dimmer because the resistance value is coming on the output leg on the, out, on the unlock wire. So that's really all there is to it. This one, standard uh, negative input, negative in, you're going to get a strong ground output for your lock. This one, same thing except you're adding the resistor on the unlock. Now, like I said, this is only if you're doing negative one wire locks, negative one wire locks. Now, if you have the opposite and you need 12 volt, 12 volt, a positive one wire locks, it's going to go like this. It's going to undo all this wiring. Clean it up. Again, the two yellows don't need to get rid of them. So again, same, same theory applies. You're going to take negative from your alarm to the input on the blue. These two are going to get 12 volts. Again, this is the supply wire, so 12 volts, just the same. So all four of these go together. These are going to get 12 volts. If I can find it. 12 volts. Now these are going to get 12 volt outputs as opposed to negative outputs like I showed in the last illustration. So when I click this relay, you're going to see that instead of being green this time, it's going to show you red. Now I just did an inver a relay inversion where I created negative input to a 12 volt positive output. So this one negative in wired it up to su the supply wires to 12 volts, and this is getting a straight 12 volt output. Same thing here, except you're getting 12 volts through a resistor on the unlock, and that's how you wire them up.